Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, let's talk about 24 Mercari Bolos. These are items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. Um, these items I've picked up at garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores. I don't know if there's any estate sales in this one. I don't do a ton of estate sales. I need to do more, but they're usually like 45 minutes to an hour away. So um, I usually stick with the thrift stores for now in the winter and then garage sales whoop, whoop, in the summer. I can't wait. I'm so excited for garage sales. All right, let's get started with what I sold. Get my screen share up. And the first item I sold, I guess this is clothes. <laughs> I was thinking I didn't have any clothing. Kind of clothes. It's an undergarment. So this is a Kasik garter belt. I did pick this up retail arbitrage. Um, I want to say they were like a dollar or something like that. Um, I've sold a bunch. I have a bunch left. So if anybody needs this, I have it in size 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, and 26, 28. They are listed in my eBay store. They're listed in my Poshmark closet. And they are also listed here on Mercari. I think I relisted them here. So um, links are down in the description of my video. If you're interested, feel free to make me an offer and just put um, Bolo Buddies in the notes. That way I know you're a subscriber. And yeah, all those links are down below. I do cross post all of my items. I use an extension called List Perfectly. And it is amazing. I've been using it for over a year. It speeds things up so much for me. That is the thing that I love about it most is I spend way less time cross posting. I'm getting my items on multiple platforms. And I will tell you that time is money because the amount of time you spend manually cross posting, you could be listing other items. So that's why I love list perfectly. And um, I do have demo videos. If you guys want to check them out, I show you how I use list perfectly. There are different ways you can like use the catalog. I don't do that. I just start my items on eBay and then cross post to uh, Posh and Mercari. Sometimes Etsy, sometimes Grailed, but not much. Um, I feel like the three platforms really keeps me busy, but, um, you can use a referral coupon code Bolo buddies, all one word, and that'll get you 30% off your first month of list perfectly. If you want to try it. Okay. The next item I sold are these longer burger. Uh, they're like lids, uh, cloth lids that go over the top of, um, the basket lid. Does that make sense? These came in a mystery box and I got a stack like this big. Uh, so what I did is I put them in like lots of two, lots of three, lots of four. And I think I did one individual item. So um, kind of some options out there for people. This person happened to want two of them. So I sold these for $11 free shipping and um, I still have a bunch left. So if anybody's interested, feel free. They are new old stock. Um, I don't know. I guess people put lids on their baskets. <laughs> it's great for like Christmas to decorate and change your baskets up. The next item I sold. Okay, so this was another mystery box item. It did not come with the box, okay? It just came with what you see in the photo. I would not have sourced this. Never. It doesn't have the box. I wouldn't have done it. And it was in a mystery box and I'm like, I'm just going to list it. I can't remember if it was like kind of a bad mystery box and I wanted to recoup some of my money or if I was like, I'm just going to try it. But um, it sold really fast, even without the box for $20 free shipping. Uh, this did ship first class. It was lightweight and sold fast. So I don't know, like that's one thing great about mystery boxes. And when I buy from YouTube auctions and I get the Dibble boxes or uh, from Donatella Bottolino. And I just got the big toy box from Auctions for You, which I haven't opened yet. Um, I don't know what's in there. And it forces me to try and list different things that I normally wouldn't source, which helps me learn. So, and as I learn, I can pass that information on to you guys. So, this Cootie Bug game, even without the box, sold for $20 free shipping. So, and I'm sure you see the cootie bug game everywhere. I see it at garage sales all the time and I pass. I actually saw one today that I passed on. 
I didn't want to open up the box and try to figure out if all the pieces were there. So this one I got in a mystery box and I checked it and it was good. So now this is a for real friends cub bottle. So this is, um, you know, the live pets that, uh, are animated and they do different functions. This is just the little bottle. And when I say little, it's very tiny. I'm trying to get you the picture in my hand, little teeny. You guys, I put my hand in pictures. I don't do it on my first photo, but I will do it on the other photos because it gives the, the buyer a better idea of how big the item is. I also use the ruler, but when you put it in your hand, I just think it really shows size. So I know I've asked you this before, but I always like to see what people put in the comments. Comment below if you like the hand or you hate the hand. <laughs> All right, I sold this for $12 with free shipping and I think this was in a mystery box also. So not much in it. The next, and it sold really fast. The next item I sold is this dollhouse miniature sofa chair. Now, not in good condition. See how it's kind of like bent in and I just included photos and I put that the condition is poor and it still sold in less than a month and you can see it's stained. So I'm guessing somebody is going to uh, fix this up because it's a really cool vintage piece. I sold it for $18 with free shipping. If this would have been in good condition, I could have gotten a lot more. This came from an estate sale. I do have an estate sale item. And this estate sale was actually local. And um, there was a box of dollhouse furniture and a humongous dollhouse in the basement. And I asked if I could just buy the furniture. So um, I just bought the furniture. The next item I sold is this vintage 1997 Tinkerbell doll. I think she was two or three dollars. She came from a garage sale. She is new old stock and it was a garage sale where I bought all of those Barbies or toys. I, I get them mixed up. It was one of those two. And she sold for $40 free shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage loving family dollhouse. And I don't know if this part is like the orange is faded or what's happening here. But the other ones I looked up, I don't think that it's supposed to be two different colors like that. Or maybe that was another one that was faded. Can't remember if it was this one or another one. But those two color, it's just an odd combination. But anyway, she sold for $16 with free shipping and I just got her probably at a garage sale or thrift store or something like that. I always pick up loving family. So I think I've gotten them off Facebook, you know. Okay, and here is another one. These are the vintage loving family dollhouse pets. And these are more like um, rubbery type um, material. They're different than the hard plastic. Uh, yeah, see, they've got the hole in the bottom. And you can see in my hand, I just think it shows the color better. I don't know. I like the hand. <laughs> I know you guys are going to give me a hard time. Anyway, sold for $23 free shipping. The next item I sold is this 1983 He-Man 1983 he Vintage Original Masters of the Universe figure. That is what M-O-T-U stands for. I was always like Motu, Moto. I couldn't figure this out. And then I'm like, masters of the universe. Please tell me that I taught somebody that. If I taught you that and you're like, oh my goodness, please comment below because you don't know how long I called that Moto or Mutu or something like that. <laughs> anyway, he was missing an arm, which you guys can still sell these items because somebody might have an arm and need the body or somebody might need this arm or this leg or this leg, um, or they might need the head. So people will buy these items for parts. This sold for $20 free shipping. The next item is a play school dollhouse dad father, not to be confused with the loving family. This guy is a play school. Let me see. I was thinking I had a picture of where it says play school. Maybe I didn't do it on there. I thought I did. Hmm, that's odd. Okay. Well, anyway, he sold for $18 free shipping. So he's not a Fisher Price loving family. He is a play school. So definitely be on the lookout for those also. The next item are these vintage Little Tykes dollhouse chairs. So these are itty bitty. Um, and here you see, I've got them with the ruler. I usually do that for my items. I sold these for $18 free shipping. And uh, these came in a lot of dollhouse items. 
loving family bathroom vanity with a sink and it's got the little towel in my hand. <laughs> Sold this for $16 free shipping. The next item is this Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood Prince toy. I had no clue who this was. I did the old Google lens trick, found out who he was. I was like, mm, comps aren't too bad on him. I mean, $12 free shipping. I've got about three bucks in shipping. So am I making a ton of money? No, but I think this was in a mystery box. So I have next to nothing in it. Um, and the reason I say that is typically in the mystery boxes, if they have a small toy, there's usually a bunch of small toys. So my average cost per item goes way down when there's a bunch of toys. So $12 minus the three to ship would put me at nine. And then let's just say Poshmark took three. That would be conservative. I made six bucks. So um, not too bad for a little toy figure that's this big that I had like a quarter in. So I'll take it. I'll take those margins. Do you guys like selling bread and butter? Let me know in the comments. The next item is this vintage Cat's Meow Village. Uh, this is from my Cat's Meow lot that I got. So I, I forget what it averaged out to like 20, 30 cents each. And I sold this for $13 free shipping. Again, very much bread and butter, but I'm good with that. The next item, another bread and butter, Octonauts Turtle. So the Octonauts are, it was a popular uh, cartoon and I don't think it's on anymore. Don't quote me on that. But uh, the toys are very, very, uh, I don't want to say sought after, but they're pretty popular. If you can get the Octonauts toys, I highly recommend that you pick them up. They are great bread and butter. And some of them go for larger amounts, especially if you lot them up. Um, I believe it was Dad Planet. He did a video on Octonauts and all the different things that um, you should be on the lookout for. So definitely go check out him. I sold this for $12 with free shipping. The next item is this Hasbro Transformers Armada Unicorn Transformer guy. And I think I had most of the pieces. If I remember, I looked it up and it's got like these two shield pieces and then whatever this thing is. I don't know, but he sold for $85 free shipping. Shipping was a little pricey because he was pretty big. Um, but I still made a really good profit. I bought this with a, uh, it was a bulk buy of, uh, Transformers and Lego Bionicles. So, um, yeah, $85 free shipping. The next item I sold is this Halo Microsoft action figure. And he looks big in the picture, but he's really not that big. He's, uh, five inches. So just maybe I can't. Okay. He's bigger than I thought. But anyway, I sold him for $21 free shipping. He came in a bulk toy buy from a garage sale. And you guys, I buy in bulk all the time. It's my favorite way to buy. That's why I like the YouTube auctions, the dibble boxes, um, and the mystery toy boxes because they're in bulk. I'm getting a whole bunch of stuff for one price. Uh, I do the same thing at garage sales. Um, I like the mystery boxes from the thrift stores. I just, I like I like it. It's fun. The next item I sold are these American Girl doll chapter books. These came from a garage sale, if I remember correctly. And I bought a ton of stuff if it's the garage sale I'm thinking of. I mean, I went back the next day and bought more. It was one of those garage sales that you don't forget. But I sold these for $23 free shipping. And again, it was a bulk buy. So I probably had a couple bucks in it. The next item came from a garage sale. I walked up and there was a really cool ceramic tree that I bought to keep. And um, I saw all of this jewelry and I asked if they had any watches because my husband likes watches. And um, she said, I think one sold and I think maybe somebody ran off with one or something like that. I can't remember the whole story. But anyway, they had a bunch of vintage jewelry and I just bundled to, bundled it all together for one price. I can't remember what that price was, maybe like 40 bucks or something. And this was a part of that lot. And I sold this one set for $57 free shipping. And it's really, really pretty. Um, I was hoping it was going to go for more, but it's not um, super uncommon 
Uh, there were more on eBay, so it does not surprise me that it sold on Mercari, which is another great reason to cross post. I always say if the item is flooded on eBay, I am definitely going to get that item on Mercari and Poshmark. The next item that sold is this Caribbean Splash Pour Femme. Pour femme um, I don't know what that word is. Femme? Femme? <laughs> Pour Femme? Femme? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, EDT, uh, it's a perfume and I didn't even put this on eBay. Um, if I remember correctly, because the comps were just kind of blah over there. So I listed it on Mercari and it sold for $34 free shipping. You do have to ship perfume ground. So it cost me about eight bucks to ship it. So that kind of cut into my profits, but I have about a dollar in this from a thrift store. The next item I sold is this vintage tie. It's called Mat Matlassi or Matla I don't know what that is. It's called that uh, by Car Home Kravitz. And here's the um, tags. And this sold for $17 free shipping. I picked this up at a garage sale over the summer. It was like a bag of ties. So I probably have less than a dollar in it. The next item are these Barbie My Scene dolls, lot of five. Um, I can't, these are McDonald's, I think. Let me see. Yeah, McDonald's. I don't know. They're Mycene. Mycene dolls is what they're called. They've kind of got the big feet. Uh, these sold for $16 free shipping. And look at their hair. I mean, look at this wild hair here. And they still sold, <laughs> look at this one. She must have had her hair in a ponytail. Sold for $16 free shipping. I don't know where these came from. They were either like in some toys I bought or a mystery box because I would not have sourced these. No, would not have sourced them. But I sold them for $16 free shipping. That's great. The next item, I wanted to give you guys an update on this. I talked about it in one of my other What Sold videos. This one was pending for like months. I think it sold in October. And I think in January, I finally messaged Mercari and the um, shipping details said um, not deliverable or uh, something scan. It was some weird code that I've never seen before, um, but it never came back to me. And I gave it three months and I messaged Mercari and I'm like, hey, I've tried to reach out to the buyer. Um, I'm not getting an answer. And that was during um, the holiday season. Um, so right before Christmas, when all of the shipping delays were going on. So I gave it plenty of time. And I want to tell you that Mercari was fantastic. They closed the item out as um, sale complete. I got my money. And I'm assuming if um, the person did not get their item, that they will probably contact Mercari and Mercari will take care of it for them. But my guess would be that the item was delivered and it was scanned wrong. And the buyer just never left me feedback. So Mercari took good care of me and I never heard anything from the buyer. So I'm assuming everything was delivered fine. I got my payment and I was really happy with how Mercari handled that process. So if you have this situation, definitely reach out to them. I did just send them an email. I, I know there's a phone number you can call. I've never used it. I just use the email. They usually get back to me within 48 hours. Um, but yeah, they took great care of me. So I wanted to give you an update on that. Um, I did get my money, so that's great. I sold that for $17 free shipping and I believe that was a garage sale fine for a dollar. The next item, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this one in the last video. I had, um, the dates marked, but I think this one sold after I did the video. So this is an LCD quartz pen watch. I am not sure if this works. Um, New old stock package partially open, but pin not exposed as seen. No clue if this works. Might be battery corrosion. I cannot check it because it's sealed. May need ink also. So I disclosed everything that could possibly be wrong with this item <laughs> because I don't know. I can't check it. So, you know, things that are vintage and that are mechanical and have a battery, you just don't know. So I just disclosed all of that to cover my bases. And everything went great. I never heard anything from the buyer. I sold it for $26 free shipping. So I'm assuming they got the watch pin and it worked fine. So that's it.
those are my Mercari Bolos. And I was a little chatty on that one. So I apologize if you don't like chatty because I'm normally like this sold, this sold, this sold, this sold. And I move very quickly. So um, if I talk too much, I apologize. But uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Check out my new YouTube channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. Those are going to be like my thrift with me. Um, just how I source, like thrift stores, uh, garage sales, estate sales. Eventually, I haven't done any of those yet. My mystery boxes, I unbox those. My 344 jewelry haul, um, any new videos will be on that channel. And I I still have a huge tote full of jewelry. Um, from that haul. So hopefully there'll be some more jewelry unboxings. I'm trying to think what else I'm going to put over there. I may do the next challenge over there. I don't know if you guys saw the thrift 15 challenge. If you go to YouTube and you put into the search bar thrift 15, or I'm sorry, hashtag thrift 15, there'll be like a pink hashtag box that pulls up. And if you click on that, it will take you to the 12 videos of the people that were in the thrift 15 challenge. It went amazing. It was super fun. I got to compete about complete. Oh my gosh. I can't talk compete against 11 other resellers, um, that are on YouTube and we had $15 to spend. We went into one thrift store and we only had $15. So I sold a plush for $95 and it sold for $95 plus shipping and I got fourth place. So the challenge, uh, the challengers were top notch. They did fantastic. So um, yeah, go check out those videos. I think you guys will learn a lot. Plus you'll get to see some different content creators and um, resellers that are on YouTube and they all teach. They all, you know, help you learn what to buy and sell. So, all right, I'm rambling. Thanks for watching <laughs> and check out my other channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies, and it should be linked down below. All right, you guys have a great night.